Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Hey guys, welcome to a second part of the game of the NBA 2K24. Me and Wooden Spoonie are here right now for the pregame show as we're about to see this next matchup. This next team as we're about to be seeing for this next Ion head-to-head -head matches. We have is the Atlanta Hawks and they are from Georgia facing against the Los Angeles of the West Coast, the Clippers. Now we will see one of the best plays this game. As we know, as for Atlanta Hawks, they've already been losing one of the games here importantly, but turning out really that hard. The Phoenix Suns have been knocking out their teams and have already been out of their place. They are not so well enough in for the season. But only the OKC funders have already been taking out this Trey Young's team that takes him all with his point. The setup of God at this angle, it does happen to be one of them. As for last season, the LA Clippers have really gotten to a great authority. They are pushing P as they have already picked a lot of wins. Cash flows, they are crazy enough to see what's going to happen like that. But right now, what will they do next? They're just going to try to see what they can do to try to beat them out. After last season win against the San Antonio Spurs, there might be in our way, but they can try to answer it. Well, let's find out how well they do, and it could be another way to get right into the game. Here the courtesy lineup says right now, Wooden Spoonie, you take from here. For the Atlanta Hawks, we have this Trey Young. Then it's Deontay Murray, DeAndre Hunter, and then Sadiq Bay and Clint Capella, the tall man in center. And on the other side of the Los Angeles Clippers, James Harden, welcome to the team of Los Angeles, as right now Patrick Beverly is with the other team of the Philadelphia Sixers, but that will be pretty soon on the other side of the court. He's also with PG-13, Paul George, then Terrence Mann, The Claw, Kawhi Leonard, and finally the Ibeka Zubox. And these are the key matchups running between the point guard positions of Trey Young and James Harden. Now, let's get you right into Crypto.com Arena. Standing by, I have here is one of the biggest. We have his OJ, along with the other commentating of the group, with DJ Beast Cool. And finally, the third part of the contestant we haven't just spotted on, well, it's one of it always, but they are looking to get this thing done. I am going to have to say, it's Boomer. It's going to be a lot of amazing matchups, but we're finding out what's going to happen now. Yep, <laughs> and definitely we're going to see how this happens right away. And Ali the Force will be on the sideline, right on the side court, right on for the line. And then coming for the halftime show will be one of the groups, Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaq O'Neal. And right now at the center of it, we'll be seeing as Johnson will be able to take that one for the halftime show for the first half recap. In the meantime, let's get into this game. We'll see you all later after the after the second half of the of the period. See you all later, everybody. Guys, it's all yours. It's one of the matches, as right now the Hawks are ready to take on in LA to face the other team here living at Crypto.com Arena against the climbing edges of the Clippers. We're about to be seeing what's going to happen. And we'll see you all this comes up when we come back. And here we are, Crypto the Camarena is the place to be, home of the Clippers. Good evening folks, OJ here along with Boomer and DJ Peace and I look for on the sideline. For this right now, it's time to make this happen and let's get going. Here are the starting groups of this lineup. That's right now, these are the only five players that will be here on the court and ready to get going. The one thing in common right now, I have to say this right now, is one of the good goodness and the player of this all has to be turned out for a PG-13. He's always the biggest man, he, he can never go anywhere like in the setup. Yet the strange is that always a difference. But I can tell you now, that whenever they do this for our near team, they're going to make this one go faster, they're going to make this one a lot that hard. But the challenging is, we're just going to have to make that one clear out and go out of the way. 
With the starting group in the lineup, all filled up and ready to go. Trey Young is covered up with James Harden. And DeAndre Hunter on Terrence Mann. Zubox is with the other one of Kunt Capella. Then we have is Paul George on DeAndre Hunter. And finally, we have across Goli Leonard over right on Sadiq Bay. He has his first bucket of the game for the Claw. The Master's always been putting up that one because I know that Claw Leonard, he's a Claw making to this one. And as for right now, they're going to make that one feel like they're all good to go. They want to make them feel like they are a bunch of them and ready to prepare for the liftoff. Outside Capella, not find Young. Inside the zone is Capella. The two pointer will carry in as right now Trey Young takes his first assist of the game for the start of the period. That's what everyone has in common right now. Trey Young has a lot of a pass percentage of his ability. From the last game, you can't just really say that whenever he comes out, he just want to make sure he gets there right in place. That's what everyone does. Not really happen how it's done, but they're going to make this one that hard and difficult. Game still tied. Here's, Trey, here's James Harden. Finds Leonard. Leonard needs to make that one a little bit of a switch, a little bit different changes. He finds Trey Harden. Looks to beat the suit box. Tries to put a step back. From deep range, puts it, ball away, shot, as the Beardman gets his first bucket. You know, I have to call that one for James Beardman. He really is going to get that one step back into this one. Make that one feel like, oh, he says, oh, I'm going to make that step back work. And he did that one all. That's a great hit. The steal for Leonard. Now finds George. In the outside, look, Harden coming in with a big drive. Paul George with the assist and his second bucket for James Harden. Now they are really just saying that this is our biggest transformation. Every team they were turning out, they were just really like going in between. That's what they are doing. The second of the first bucket goes out to the bay. As right now, the field goal percentage comes in for the Hawks. 40 percent change, just about 20 percent trailing from the Lakers. So the Clippers, and now finds Kawhi Leonard. Now gives off to James Harden. Looks over to Zubox with the shot fade. Terrence Mann looking over. Open look, Paul George. Substitute, takes it in there and a good bucket possession. George has got his first bucket after a pass by Leonard. They're saying that this is all everywhere for one of them. They just didn't really want to make them feel like, oh, they just have to get out of here. That's what they always said before. Yeah, I've got a good feeling about Paul George. He's always that good. Paul George on the outside now finds again to Boy Leonard. He pulls it back right again to Paul George. Now finds again to James Harden. James Harden. It's around Young. And he may not have a good move here as James Harden has his third bucket. Atlanta trailing by six. 325 left to go in the first period. Gonna get that one a strong start. And Trey Young will have that finish drive after Capella's assist. This is what everyone does. When Clint Capella has that one right away, he's like on the tall man center. You might want to just watch out for him because he's already like on the top of the key. Not even my choice, but they're always like good. You just can't get out of here. Paul George, a two-point step back on a fadeaway. Gets it in. And James Harden with the assist. First time I've been called by the Atlanta Hawks with only under three minutes to go. They're on a great start run, a 12-6 run to scoreboard. Oh, where do you go? Now, I know because this is what everybody's doing it. And because of Tyrone Lou, they were really our upper end pressure. And Nate McMillan, he's on the other side here with the, with the head coach. They're just trying to make that one feel like they're on a comfortable position. They're just trying to make that one feel like it's clear and it's not really like what they're tough enough now. I know this is very that tough, but don't be uh, don't be the tough ones that you're gonna be out there for your night because they are just trying to make that one feel like you're in a comfortable position and don't make that one feel like it's out of your out of mind. So the new head coach right now, as we've seen right now with the playing with the Utah Jazz, he's now in particularly helping out with the team, it's Quinn Snyder. Last time he was the head coach right now for the Utah Jazz, but now this time he's been now heading into this new job with the team, 
to go with the Atlanta Hawks. As you already know, with the with one of each of the team, Nate McMillan has a lot of a, a, a trouble sensation, and they're just making that one feel like they are not going to get them back here anytime soon. It's because of what happens right now. It's for the end of the season of Nate McMillan, and he now won't be there anymore. That's what definitely happens now. He might be with the Utah Jazz, or something else could have been said. Well, there might be one in common right now because Quinn Snyder has already been out here with his team. He's now on his own new team after with Doc Rivers being game, getting him to left with his team. He just want to make that one feel like he's he's congratulated again and want to make that one feel like he's more comfortable to his own game. Russell Westbrook is checked in for James Harden. And the other side we have is Tucker. He should also check in as well. Westbrook fighting again a letter. In the corner for the two. Rolling on the rim and then Moose misses off the target. AJ Griffin on his way down. Lost the ball. It's PJ Tucker with a steal. Fast break. Here they come. Fade a shot. Back to Leonard. Westbrook trying to make another different move. George in the outside. Steps up for the two. Hit that face shot away as PG-13 has his third bucket. Just two minutes remaining in the first quarter. 14-8 run. Getting a little bit of out of the target line. Open look. AJ Griffin. Good carry out for the swish. On the outside and they are back down by three. They're just going to make that one feel like AJ Griffin has never carried a three before. They're just making that one a lot that more money to get that one bucket. Here's Powell on the outside with a minute with 90 seconds to go. George back to Leonard. PG-13 for three. Hit the cash flow. Takes that one with the first three and add that one extension run up by six. Now there's no way. I have to tell you that Paul George is like keeping his eyes on the three. And just making that one feel like it is that comfortable. Nobody has seen it like this. But that's what everybody does. And you don't want to make that one feel like you are out of here for your life. Russell Westbrook with the ball with just one minute remaining. Now back to Russell Westbrook. Tries to give it over again to Paul George, making a little move. Stepping it back again to Powell. To decide to help the screen. PJ Tucker comes in. Powell step around the two. Oh, that is tough. Norman Powell got that one. A slip slider. Had that one too then. Oh, that was tricky. But I just recovered it. That's what definitely does happen. Norman Powell just really got there at that time. He just don't want to make that one feel like it is out of the way. Trey Young with the assist as Akumbu has his first dunk in. And Aliyub successful for the Atlanta Hawks. There's no way I gotta make that one feel. That is a good communication, but you're just making that one feel like they're all over it. Westbrook fighting it again to Tucker. Looks now to George. Good ball movement for the Clippers. Leonard around the two. Bucket one! Boy, Leonard counts that one in there and sending back the foul. He's already been showing it off like his spirit. The emotional pride, he's just really turning it off that big. The new substitution comes in as McDonough is checked out. Right now, Matthews is checked in and Kawhi Leonard with one shot. The Clippers are also making new changes. PG-13 is checked out as Highland is checked in. And he will handle it off with the free throw. And he's already been looking at it alone because he's the claw making of this guy. The master he does, it's all he does now to play with his California team. Trey Young, way deep. Fade away free, can it? From half court, and will not get it in there. That ends the first quarter as the Clippers have it all. 22 to 15 is the run. We will get to the second quarter when we come back after the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right with you in just a moment around the corner on 2K Sports. And if you're just tuning in for the second period, we are about to get this thing ready to have that one on the tape. On a great start run for the Clippers. What is your take, guys? Well, they have that one moment, momentum. When James Harden really has to take the team all of his effort, 
He just really had to make that one feel like he is all in his hands. He can feel like he is like unbelievable with his score. The tough shot ability has already like been going everywhere, but his time effort won't pay the price. I really have to tell you, they are all the team. And I have to say this here and there, OJ. This is a lot of a courtesy on this switch off. When they're doing this run, they want to make that transition more, more carefully and they do this. But this offense has got really got a good tough situations. They're just trying to make that one feel like they are on a good run. I have a good feeling they're making that one here a lot much better. Pass to man. Good pass here by Zubox. He has that first assist down. And Tyrant's man with the first bucket. Now that was a good communication. I have to make that call from here from a Zubox. He had that great pass right there, and he just made that wide open look in the front of the baseline. This was a tough angle that he was able to make that one pass go heavy. We have a reporter for Out of the Force. He talked to Quinn Steiner about this, and when their team is they're in trouble, they really have to make that one feel like they are on the pressure. Trey Young and their teams are on, on their way to make that one feel like they never did this before. But they wanted to do, they want to show them off how it's done. They can't just leave him out there like your way and says, hey, we need to get back into this. This is what we have to do. And I know they're just trying to keep it training, but there might be another way without Nate McMillan. Here's Murray with the two. Rolls it in out. Five three six remaining as right now Zubox receives two rebounds. Now, with that last game, they won against Denver. This is the toughest great fourth quarter one that they are doing it the best. Yeah, and you definitely have to say, a lot of comeback rallies in this switch in the regular season has already been going out there on a run. But not to believe them, they just really have to just get out of the way. And I just really felt like there was a good cut and dry that they are making this one. All that does happen now, they are just making this one away. Hard into the move! Oh, didn't get there in time as right now we have a first block rejection. That goes on Griffin. Here's a cutting move, and the first foul calls on Tyrant's man. Now well, he's first personal, and the first team foul on LA. DeAndre Murray at the free throw line, got a rejection out of it, but now I just go back to the other way and try to say that, hey, I'm taking over this. Don't mess me up, you get there. Well, he's already just like settled down for this moment. You just don't want to take that one here. First trip to the free throw line will be Atlanta with under five minutes to go. Stopping the clock here with just 4 for 57 to remain. First free throw set in for Deontay Murray. This is what happens to all the best of them. When Deontay Murray dies, he just wanted to get to the free throw line and done. Three players are checked in. Deontay Murray moves over with Matthews and McDonough checked in. And the Clippers are also making a change as Paul George steps back in from Highland. Second free throw will count in for Deontay Murray. It's a 24-19 run. Here's Harden. He will take his time to make that one go in for the transition move. Want to make that one feel like he's up there before. Leonard. Screen on George. Won't take his time with the wrist. Double man on him. Leonard on his way down. Takes back to Harden. Looks over. Nobody look. Hit off with the rebound as by right now it's Clint Capella taking over. Matthews on a stay away run on man. He finds Capella, covered up by Zubox. Matthews on his way down with this shot. Oh! Zubox! How do you show that one off? Oh my! I just did not see what Zubox was getting there in time. I just don't believe in how they're doing this. Oh my! You gotta make the credit on that call that Zubox with rejection. <laughs> I know that one. You got that feeling. Yeah, take away from me. I take it over this one. With the shot. The train rejected. That's two in a row for Zubox. For this last game, this never has to be like this by my umbo. But this was really turning it over. I just don't even have to tell you. They're getting away with that. They're not even going over this. Terrence Man and McDonovich are in for the center to go for the jump ball. With the ball tipped, it's recovered by Atlanta. Hunter has the ball, and now McDonovich will have it away with under four minutes to go before the first half closes. 
He now gets the Hunter, tries to switch it, and he cashed that in. He has that one with his first bucket, just down by two. They're showing you nowhere to be off on that run. They don't want to leave him behind. They don't want to give away with them. Now, back over again to Man. He goes right into the corner. Now gets off to Horton. Now finally a letter. Letter. Back to Horton. Tries to help him out with the screen. Harden to do it again. Hit that Harden. And this one slides across. He has a no bucket down. It's just going to be a hard one to try to maintain this. Because James Harden, he just really wanted to make that one feel like he never does the pressure. But this dynamic trio just had it all. Harder! Three-pointer can hit the mark and a reverse scoop draw dunk by Capella. He had that one to take that with smooth rebound and took it over for the head. First time I've been called by LA Clippers with under three minutes gone by. Coming up later will be the halftime show as we will have their great courtesy to have all that strength. It's a close game that everybody's been going for, but we might find out who will take from here. Now, I have to say that when everyone does that for for now, I think the Pelicans really have to make that one show up. His pressure is really just getting away with this one. It's not what he does have to do to him for now, but if you can't just make that one feel like you are already in the game, ask the others. You don't want to make that one feel like you're in bad luck out there. And yes, everything is a changeable. They are making this one feel like they are already been showing it off. Not just that anyone else is in the game that can definitely try to make that one feel like you're getting it out of here. You don't want to make that one feel uncomfortable, but you just don't want to make that one feel like you're over the edge. That's what happens right now because you don't want to make this one feel like you're out of here and you won't mind. That's what nobody wants to get out of here. changes right now as right in this instant BJ Tucker and Westbrook are back into the court as right now new players are checked in now here's Powell on the outside of the wing now gets over again to Russell Westbrook looks back outside to Powell tries to move around McDonovich then shot fade around him and he had that one another scoop in this drive's always coming down here because Norman Powell just got in sweep in that's what you can call that big drive Bay on Tucker. 2.30 left to remain in the first half. And the offensive foul's been called. A cover with the first. And it turns it over to Clippers ball. As we show in this one off before, this league status of the steal already got in the way ahead of Mark over Magic. And because of Atlanta, they just did not really see what was going to happen like that. You know what they do, because the steal just happened all oh, most of the time. They just did not really want to gain their momentum. And they can't just leave him out to go deniable right away. Here's Russell Westbrook. Spades a step back. P.J. Tucker outside of free. Going to go. Paying away right down the bucket line. And on the extension run. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Right now, here's here's Deontay Murray with the screen. Are you taking away here a cold move going down? As Deontay Murray with the assist. That is a cuff, this clever. Oh my goodness. I used to not really see, I mean, that is the weirdest look I ever seen about what happens right now because that looked like an alley oop. That would have been like put back inbound. What the heck could this happen to me? I don't know. <laughs> well, there might be one way to get a ride around it. Step back with a two, and he's fouled. McDonovich with the first first goal. Number team foul for Orlando with under 90 seconds to remain. Not as close to being, but no thing is going to take him over. Yeah, and you're looking at it right away because no one power was like over it. And there's that bunch. But Donovich on that one here, he got that one slapped away. He just didn't really say that he wasn't able to get there right enough to make the forward go work for. It's a hard one to take over. Not sure it's an easy option. The free throw line's coming up here for the LA Clippers with just under 90 seconds. Takes his own time to hit the first. Now you can see Norman Powell, he's, he's always that clever. How does it really tell him that he's, he's the best player to go with the bench zone, guys? 
Well, I have to make that one feel anything because Norman Powell was already like taking the brush out of it for spill. And I would just say that shooting guard position is a lot of tons of work to do. But you can definitely say that whenever Norman Powell gets the job done, he definitely has played with this college team. And right now he's already been ready to take his own and wanting to go for it again. Yeah, I have the agreement to make this one feel. The powerful of this line, it may be a one knockoff run. And I don't know what will happen to him, because that might be a hard one to keep an eye on it. That's all it does turn out to the guy who had it. Foul's been called on two boxes. Right now they have their first personal foul and their first second team foul for LA. And he would have that block. But this has all turned out to make the rough easy call. Yeah, and I guess there is an easy call right now because Sonny Bay, he just really had to hit that one hurt very badly. That was the ref's idea, they got him caught. Free throw coming up for Sonny Bay, and they're trying to get that one to a close game, a 33-28 run. It's the first, and Sonny Bay will have to make a new change off as Trey Young hits back on the court. Deontay Murray steps off the court. And he missed a second free throw. And it takes it over. Kongu has it back. Now here's another one for Young. Tries to go over to Powell. Here's Westbrook going over. The fadeaway shot no good for Young. He's missing out a tons of way to get it around this white player. And this is not a hard one does. 1v1, hard contest shot, not an option. Round of player. Oh man! Pass by Zubak. That's what happens. You can't just make the miss out of them as PJ Tucker with the assist. And it looks like Zubak has his first bucket to take it all. That's a, like an easier play. This motion drive is like already going uh, everywhere. A combo slams down. And that this is what's up here. And it's right now it's McDonovich with these assists. It's always the easy motion, not a transition action. And you still want to make that one feel like you're out of the way. Russell Westbrook finds Tucker. Double man on that now finding again to Paul George. Get back to Tucker. Passes to Russell Westbrook. Around Young. Head off the drive mark as Russell Westbrook has his first bucket down. They're just making them feel like they're already on a target line. That's a hard one. And Young down the wire and he will finish off the drive right away as the first half comes to a close. And there you go. 37 31 is your first half of the score. Looks like it turned out to be a close one than you ever fit. We'll have to find out what happens now. Let's be sent to Allie. Guys, let's do a strong first half for this team. What was the mindset that gave you guys the lead? We just have to be ourselves, you know, just be ourselves, move the ball, place the unselfish, and uh, we're going to get ourselves an offense. Stay true to you, guys. Thanks, Ali. Stay tuned. Second half is coming up after the break. See you later in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, unfortunately, as we're right now, we might have a tough situation here, but it was a little bit of a delay, so I guess that we'll see you in the next game in the third. Let's have a look with the first half of the recap for the Hawks and Clippers. It's a great close combination with the first half as James Harden and her team got to an early lead. Let's have a look from you for a wooden spoonie for the Clippers. They're really not good. This pressure is turning out that big and mighty. This strong force is turning out everything big. They're going to make that one a lot that hard. And now for you there, Mr. Son of Ace, for the Atlanta Hawks. They're trying to make that one feel like they're all good, okay. But I'm thinking this is a power backup plan that they're trying to get this one done. Maybe you need a lot of strategy to get there. But hopefully that, we'll find out how this goes. And that will wrap things up here for the Halftime Show as we send you back down to OJ and their crew. See you all later for the post game. Welcome back to Crypto.com Arena as we're about to start off the third quarter. It has been a close game as the Hawks trail by six. 
But we all call the same, PG-13 is where to be. Now, I know that Paul George is already out there. He's gotten great stuff out there, but maintain his way. He's on a pressure run, he's going to get that one here. A lot that harder when he does. Don't make him feel like he's out of here, because you never know, they're going to get away with that. Your courtesy lineups are being here as follows. Well. Fueled up by Gatorade, all fueled and ready. Now the starting group right now, we have is James Harden. He's with Trey Young. On the other hand, we have is Paul George on Deontay Murray. Then right for the other side, and there it's man on Clint Capella. Then on the other side, we have is letter on Sunny Bay. And finally, we have across, we have his, we have his, uh, sorry, I meant, uh, I don't know who the guy is, but yeah. a Kongwu and the Vika Zubox. On the other side, turn to be a close game right now, and Zubox gets back to Harden. And we have a report from Ali LaForce. They're all saying that Tyrone Lu has really have gotten the pressure out of them. They made their teams look easier right now because after a trade in comes in for James Harden, he's now going to have to help his team make him do it right. They want to make them feel like they are only been showing it off to make that spirit look like he's proud. But that was all. It does turn out they're keeping him a best player in the offense. And yes, this is ability that I just have to say, this is not what everyone does. They can't just like, oh yeah, because we're going to take them away. You just got to make sure you have to show the courage of them. You have to stop them. This is what everybody does. If they need to really get away with this, don't get out of yourself. That's what happens most of the time. Double man, points man. Go on later from me. Free cast the flow. Points 42 to 35 to score. Oh, play speed out there, Kawhi Leonard in your eyes. Trey Young around again on James Harden. Good Bronco breaking, but not this time. And Mika Zubox had that rejection down. Oh, wow. I never seen what was going to happen like that. Wow. Step back, finds again a man. Looks over the two. Take the rebound, and if he can zoom box, round him. Hold the stop pressure on Barry, and he has another rebound to take. Now it gives it back to Bay. Looks to Murray. With the screen, trying to make the stop motion run. Fade off the shot, Clint Capella up. Murray for the two. In from the corner sideline is good. After Clint Capella's assist, this is what everyone's going to get there. They're just going to make that one feel like they are coming back in now. Now back again is James Harden. Now over again to Kawhi Leonard. Leonard back again to James Harden. And now going back to Kawhi Leonard, they are making a leverage switch off run. He finds you, Brox. Wants to look for the cut. And got him a bad pass direction by Bay. And Ali Oop can take it away from Kawhi Leonard. Here's Zubox on his way down his man. And good pass to Kier. Terrence Man with the second bucket. And I think a Zubox with the assist. Now, this is what the play comes in. This play through is going to have to get rot that craziness. They're just going to make that one feel like they are already been going. Hunter with the shot. That's Trey Young with the assist with 340 to go. They're just going to get this thing back and over and over again. They want to make that one feel like they need to go with an easy look. Don't take it too much pressure if you want that. Forward and back again to Man. And Man trying to make that step in motion. Bound find the Vivas Zubox. And nice D by Clint Capella. He has that one rebounded. And now going back to Young. Young on again, Harden. Had an ankle breaker earlier, and he got that one caught. And the offensive foul has been picked. I said he paid with the foul. That turns it over to Clippers ball. This is what happens. Two in a row. You make a mistake, that's on you. You just don't want to make that one feel like you're out of here on your mind. That's what nobody wants. They don't want to get out of here or locked out. Here's Harden with the ball now finds Tyler. Now gives off to Kawhi Leonard. Now back again to Harden. Right around the man. Oh, tough shot, but it's a stop by Murray. This is what nobody is really getting at things sober with. They're just trying to make that one feel like you're out of your mind. 
They just don't want to get this thing away, and they do not want to mess this up. Good team here, as now it's another stop by Harlan. And now with Atlanta Hawks, they only had six points for Deontay Murray at three rebounds. He just missed in that for four, five bucket straight game. Yeah, it's kind of easy enough to say. It's not very hard, easy enough for Deontay Murray to try to step from bound. I just don't know what to say with this, but this is like not the tough one to get away with it. The foul's been called on Clint Capella with only 207 remaining. And right now it stops right now in the clock. Like, this is a drive out there. Yeah, <laughs> I've got to make that one feeling like this was a hard one. That Capella was going to reject it, but it looks like they referee got him, and that was all it does turn out. Kawhi Leonard at the free throw line will take his first top trip to the free throw, shooting two shots. He's got to make the free throw down before, but that was the last part of the season that he's definitely had made, especially to the playoff games he had made. Yes, this offense has gotten great set percentage. I just have to say, Kawhi Leonard, you got to make that one good credit. He hits the fourth free throw, and right now the new changes are in. Three players are checked in. Because right now we have one of them. It's right in between Abakongu, Griffin, and Wesley Matthews. On the other side we have is another player, Highland, still looking for what Norman Powell and Russell Westbrook on the court. And he hits the second. Atlanta going for another takedown throw down here in the offensive curve setup. And here's Hunter. Looks to drive it. Oh, my, oh, my. He had that dunk earlier. This is what nobody does. He's out of a faster height limit at that point. That's what's going in the hijacking range. This motion just keeping on going. Westbrook finds a pass to get the power. In the middle. Give a bounce pass to Tucker. Looks down at the letter. Looks it over. Trying to make a back step. No higher end shot. It's a tough shot, but he makes it in there. This is a tough one to make that inbound. I'm going to make that one feel that the hunter kind of tried to make a stop out of him. But it looks like Highland, he got great. The title has been called by Atlanta Hawks with just only a minute and 29 to go. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you far by American Express. Don't live life without it. Sour Patch Kids. And by Mountain Dew. Let's do the do. If you all hope you enjoyed this part of the Anonymous Insanity Invitational, we brought the final three, and this was a fun one to see that one going by. A lot of writer's room, and turned out to be one of the games to put in reverse. And this is like a hard contest, it turns to be a reversible contest. Not to say what about this one, but you're really like a good team. What do you think? Well, I guess that is a good hour in a transition, but I never see what was going to happen. But this is a turn out great, and you know. Yeah, I really like this contest they're doing that thing really well. But you're just going to make that one feel that they are over the on the loose chain. They're going to hit that one back as soon as they can. With the Western Conference Finals, they have already here as an update right now in November. This has already been showing it with what they have. And the Clippers really have to find a way to make that one settle down to have their run and take their back in the offensive inbound. They're trying to make that one feel like they were going over the edge. Not really sure what they're doing, but they're trying to get that one back into the zone. Now, back the way is Russell Westbrook. Now it gives off to Norman Powell. He fakes the pass to Westbrook. Up and overhead pass to Leonard. Tries to go in, in for pain. No foul called on Elena as a good stop puts up our Kobu. Oh, uh, if it wasn't going to be a, a tough inbounding with the call, we're just never going to say, oh, we you got to stop on this guy. Because he's already like getting away with that one. They did not want to make this one feel like it's too hard. At all costs. Harlan with the ball, now find Westbrook. 
He decided to bring Leonard with the stick with the screen and inside. Oh! Just the one hand dunk for Kawhi Leonard. The claw does it. That is what does happen. The pass only does turn out to Russell Westbrook. They just make it that feel like they're already on a good track side. Yeah, this is what everyone does now. You gotta give the credit to the claw. Just down to 10 seconds of the shot clock, 10 seconds of the regulation period. A corner trying to make that one go up with the shot. And we'll have to make that one in there to have a close game. Leonard from half court, out of sight. And that ends the third quarter. It's a 50-45 game. Hawks trail by five and looking to get a tight run in the game matchup to have it all down. We come to the end of the line. The fourth quarter is underway right after this break. And with a moment now, let's have a look at the assist of the game presented by State Farm. Now, I'm pretty sure that this was really a tough matter. But not to where I mentioned before, there were, is another way to make that one feel like it's a lot of change. But this all happens to be Russell Westbrook. That was I on the KU game. This all has to be like an honor. Got to make that one feel like he's on the move. He could feel like he was doing all. The courtesy line for Gatorade all field and set to go for the last quarter and the action. Here's Powell. He has it along the way right now over to Deontay Murray. As young as on Harden. Then on McDonough on, on Paul George. Right on the other side, we have his across here is Clint Capella on P.J. Tucker. And finally, the claw right over on Bay. Deontay Murray rolls it out. Powell takes the rebound with only 6.30 to start in by. Leonard in the corner now gives out to P.J. Tucker. Say hello to the layup. The P.J. Tucker roll puts up five points. An assist by Leonard. That's a good helping play in this call. This action just really just made that one feel like they're already been going around the way. They make that one big time. Wrist again, trying to take the third. And still no rebound to pick. Another shot made. And George. Back to Tucker on the outside. Looks to Norman Powell. Puts a step in now. With the fade over again. P.J. Tucker does it again. That's seven points in the game. With just 5.45 left. Young, pass the bay. Looks now inside. Watch out! There's a drive take. Sadiq Bay with another rollout. And the field goal's been changing it up. Well, they're putting a lot of a defensive breakdown. They're just not going to make that one feel like, oh man, this is not what everyone does. But hey, not a choice option. You don't want to keep it going. You don't want to break it open. You just got to keep the mans with you. Harden, deep three! Take that time, but it was lost out. Bogdanovich with the rebound, now on his way down. Over to George, and he's fouled. And this one is going to be another personal foul, and the team foul put up early. The next game will be happening here on December, and will be at Portland for the next regular season. But Bogdanovich and the team, you're going to be ready for our next game to keep your eyes on, to have that one underway. As you're watching right here on your TV device, we'll download the app on NBA. The Dodgers at the free throw line shooting two with 507 remaining. Budonovich had that free throw down, taking a little bit of his time and get back to work. Zubox and the other team players comes in for PJ for PJ Tucker and for Kawhi Leonard. He moves over after Norman Powell sits out of the game. Vidanovic hits two. The Clippers are still up in the lead, lead by five. Here's Tucker, trying to make a move, and he had the reverse there and say, is this reverse? He just did it. Well, it's going to be a tough uh, that call. I mean, if there was a, like a Kyrie Irving motion to go on defense, 
you're just going to make that one feel like you're out of the way, like particularly, you're making that one feel like you're out of here. Not a choice option, you just don't want to make that one feel like you're out of here. That's all it does. Just find the shoe. We go to the top. Two pointer comes it in, and they are back down by five, leaving him with only 4.30 left to remain in the fourth quarter. And Harden back the other way, now gives off to Paul George. George swings to Harden. A lot of pass motion here for the Clippers. And Zubox comes in for the screen. Tries to spin it in, attack around Capella. It's good! PG-13 with 11 points, 4.05 remaining. They're just going to go, go crazy. PG-13 is the guy you don't want to miss out on. He finds Bay in the middle. The gap missed again. And so he may just didn't say there was like going to be a foul call, but a great help for, for Mika Zubac with the rebound. Yeah, it's only what it's with the game. I just have to say that this is all the Sadiq Bay going. I don't know what he's going to do. But if Mika Zubac, that's all his rule of the game, you can make it. Dude, three for George. Nothing to take care of that as Bay with the rebound. There's Young with the floater in. He makes another drive. Trying to put an angle around Jordan. And he just really wanted to tie this game up with the points. It's not what they were going to do. If you have this scoring option, you just got to do yourself. That's what nobody has ever done. You have to get there in time. A lot of pressure. It's a take on battle. Harden around Young and he's foul. Trey Young with the first personal and they're adding another team foul for Atlanta. Under three minutes remaining it is the 58-53 as Harden is on the free throw line shooting two. They're making another trip to the free throw line for the Clippers and they're starting to go for another free throw takes. First free throw sent in for Harden. And you know what last season he was already been taken away with that pressure? He was helping the team out with the Cleveland Cavaliers, but his team was putting up a loss right now before his train to with the number team. Yeah, I must say that James Harden is already making this ending career because all it does happen for now it is everybody is saying that we all miss the beard man and the Philly Sixers. They just make it not feel like we all want to make them eyes on it just to see what's up. And probably, we're definitely happy enough to see what's going to happen now. A combo up. And a tough one can't get away with them as he makes another draw. Tyrone Cole by the LA Clippers with 2.48 to go. We'll take a quick break. Break when we come back after this. We're going to see what happens if the close game gets in. They're going to make this one feel like a lucky motion. It's a drive. You don't make the mess out of it. That's right now we have the upcoming schedule right at this game. As we're about to be seeing this next part of the matchup, we've got the Pistons versus the Hornets. That'll be next week's game happening here right at this moment here before the season of greetings is right upon us right towards it for a new part of the holidays. And as of right now, Thunders and Nuggets are also in the lineup and we're also seeing them to take their matchups right away. And we're about to be seeing them right in just a moment on the outside of the corner. That will be the next one underway. Now it's time to present your New Balance player of the game, the claw of Kawhi Leonard. He's always the beast. The main man, you just always have to make that one feel like this offense has got a great setup. I have always appreciation that Kawhi Leonard is going great at it and trying to make the pressure. He's making that all own. Oh, yeah, and same thing needless to say about Kawhi Leonard, he's already like a full power on energy. They're making that one feel like they are already been done. Pass broken up. DeAndre Hunter has that steal. Trey Young tries to look for an open man. Look good, but the stick take away screen and the drive puts in. They are back down by two. Atlanta trying to keep out the motion in sight. And not in choice time for man, as he went too close to the half four. That will be not enough to take from here. Kawhi Leonard back on court, as P.J. Tucker checked out. 
I've got to say, this is going to be a close call. But this matchup can't get away without anybody. They need to get this one straight. Well, let's see how well they do. Yeah, do more. Any guys? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, let's find out. The screen for Capella. James Harden denies it. That takes it away. Ivica Zubox with eight rebounds, and now Harden with the ball. Tries to roll around it. Free for George. Rolling out. Back to Murray on the other side, looking to tie or take the lead. He's up, ties the game. That's a Deontay Murray with the assist, and Young pulling up a 14-5 run in 140 per minute of the game. They just got to get things in this one. They can't win at all. You don't want to make them feel like they're out of here. They have to get done to this one. Later around it, stopped away by Bay. Oh, wow. Here's Bay with the shot. Okonu lost the ball, as now Zubox has it. And George back the other way. Pulling the back pass to Zubox. Now finds George. Tries to go to Leonard. He goes straight over the up to Harden. With a two. It's good! Wow! Mr. Beardman! 13 points with one minute to go! Oh my, I just don't know what to tell you now, but this is what everyone is saying, The beard man is going to feel like he's legit. George back the other way to man, and now he's off to Leonard. Goes right now to Harden. Over now to man. Outside, George, and I look for three! Ho oh, ho! Mr. George and the beard man are making a huge on a comeback rally in the fourth quarter. Oh my. Yeah, I don't know that one there. They're making this one feel like they're all over this. They got a great help. The time has been called by Atlanta Hawks. Just 38 seconds. Now, just because I'm just really saying this, this was really that tough. Not everybody's good at it, but you, when you're good at that game, you just got to show them up. Do that thing on the right motion at time. That is what everyone does. They're really stepping up this alley. Not the choice where they wanted to go, but they're going to get that one a lot that hard to make that full run. And let me tell you this one right now. Do you think that the Clippers will make the number win? Or Atlanta will have it all? Well, it's a good take right now, but LA Clippers, what's up? Because they already made that one a go going around the town town. They've been knocking them out of here just the right time to get that motion out of the way. They're making that one feel like they're all good in motion. This drivers has already been turning out like it's a big pickup. They were making that one feel like they're on a good run. And your take here for Boomer? Well, it's going to be a tough one to call. I must say Atlanta is going to be a really tough one to get back into this. They've lost a lot of games, including the last season one. They just can't get away with this. But they have to do it. And now Hunter for the two. No. Zubox will have it. And the foul will put up a study bay with his third personal with 33 seconds. That's what happens now. One foul to give. No, he just didn't get that one right away. That's a mistake. They just can't get away with that. And Young, my oh my. They're just coming back in and just trying to get back to work. And the timeout been called for the last one on the Clippers before the last timeout for Atlanta Hawks. This was the longest game ever, but this was all nothing for a lease. That that one, and they don't want to make that one feel like you're all out of here. In their mind, what do they have to do now? Well, pick them up. Well, it's a play courtesy setup. They were just making this one feel like uh, I'm, I'm all over the place. They never seen what uh, everybody was keeping an eye on that. But this perfect stat assist just really kept on coming. You just really want to make that one feel good at this game. On the court, and then they felt like, you know what, team? We're going to give it all. We got to go for this win. And we got to make that top guy. Let's show who's the boss. Yeah, I, I must say, it's, it's going to be a lot that hard of a challenging run. Don't make it feel like we're going to be a period again. No time much remaining for the LA Clippers. Is right now, this is where it turns it down. Harden step back on the outside. We'll have to leave it off from here. As man will have that ball and Murray with the foul. 
That was his last battle to give, and now he's at the free throw line shooting two. The number three field, field trip line for the Clippers. First free throw set in for Terrence Mann. You just really want to make sure he has that lot of concentration. Seven free throw misses. Timeout calls for the last one on Atlanta Hawks with 21 seconds. We're just trying to make that one feel like they're already on the mark, way back out, but don't want to leave them out behind. That's what everyone does, that they can't make them lose at all. Well, it's just really that hard. It, it makes that sense, but they are trying to pick them off on the attack runs. They just don't want to make that one feel like they're out of here. Right now. They just need to get right to, to this offensive end now. That's what the whole team does. Never mess them up. Don't quit here. You just want to get there for a hard takeout run. Don't make it feel like they're out of here. Like they're all pushing themselves out of the way. Yeah, I have nothing to say about what it is, but they are just going to make that one feel like, oh yeah, because we are already at the limit. You don't want to make that one feel like you are out of uh, the change in gas power, like they're all over the place. Can't make that one lose again. Orlando, young for three. He misses. That's it. And it goes with another foul on DeAndre Hunter as they have their fourth team foul and they are over the limits. Well, this is what everyone does. They're trying to take the ball, they want to give it back. I mean, no questions asked because they can't just leave them out here with the empty gap behind. Has his first bucket down. And he hits the second free throw. Down to 15 seconds. Trey Young with the last possession of this game. Tries to pass the harder for three. Misses. Rebound. That's two time stop here for Clint Capella. Now gives off again, moves the man, and gives it to Leonard. That is the end of the game. Clippers wins this, year, wins this game, a 67-63 run. It's a close battle range, can make the matchup hard. This offense is going to make that one feel like they're on a crush right night to make that night come to a line. And now we send to Ali LaForce for the player of the game. Ali. James, when a game gets close down the stretch like this one did, Talk about the mentality this team has to have. Time to lock in. You know, time to lock in and get stops when we need to. Uh, you know, I always got trust in my guys and to make the make the big plays, make the big shots, and, and uh, we move on. The trust paid off. Thanks, All right, Ali. Thank you so much. And that's going to wrap it here for this game. With me, OJ, Ali LaForce, Boomer, and DJ Beats. This has been a presentation of the NBA 2K24 of the regular season. Thank you for tuning in with us, and we'll see you all again for the next game. Adios, everybody. Until we get for the next one. All right, guys, thank you so much. We always appreciate to this one as the Clippers knock down the Hawks with a 67-63 run. This has turned out to be incredible two blocks by Evika Zubox and a tough making inbound for Claw as Kawhi has been going all over on the court looking for a pass. And James Harden is not so bad after all. Yeah, it's been always a great change off. It's an impressive run. We've always can't wait to have that one, how this turned into an excellent motion run on this particular game of the setup. Here's how they did with the uh, team comparison right now, as this one turns to be right between those two. As for field goal percentage range was only 47 for the Atlanta Hawks, and three pointers was 40% and 82% from three pointers and three free throws, fast break, points and paints, second chance, puts eight, 42, and 10 for Atlanta Hawks. 
The bench points and assists was turning to be a close range, 19-22. Offense rebound, 12. And defense rebound is 20 for LA Clippers. 5 over 4. Got a little hard at that point. But it's nice to say that there is three blocks. They've got great things to go with Vika Zubats to try and stop them on to make that pressure go into a feeling. Yeah, it's a great thing that it's all for Zubats with that rejection to deny that run. They were just making that one feel like they're on they're on a digit numbers. They're just making that one feel like they're he's swatting away and he's been already been like sleeping it out and just sweeping it. That's a lot of the courtesy to make this one feel like it's a lot of change off run. And also we have is a number of turnovers. We only had less for nine points off for the turnovers for the Clippers. Three team fouls for Los Angeles. Five biggest dunks for Atlanta Hawks. Nine lead for the game, and 15:55 was their time of possession for the Los Angeles Clippers. So as of right now, I'll start off with the third star player, and here we have here. We start off with the big run right at this game. Third star, all does have to be one on one. James Harden, the beard man, with 13 points, one rebound, two assists. Got a great keep on scores right in between from the digit number high. And a uh, good field goal percentage range to keep that one up for his goal. And right in here and there, he only had just missed two free pointers. He would have had that one right away, but it was not enough that it took out too many times, and it was all happened. Without Sixers, we couldn't agree more. Wooden Spoonie, you're up. All right, as for number two, Trey Young has 14 points with two rebounds, had six assists. And only has to make that one obsolete with a 7 out of 16 field goal percentage. Only 27 performance skills in turning out best. He's already like on ice, young. Like it's ice everywhere. Like he's on court and freezes up on a cold night. That's what happens most of the time. You can't miss on. <laughs> yeah, I know. They all need him the ice young. That's what can happen most of the time. That you can't just get keep a ways on him. Keep away out of here and then out of your life. <laughs> Not a choice. And now for your first first star player. We all say thanks, and this was a biggest moment. PG 13 with 14 points, one rebound, two assists, 18 performance run, six out of eight field goals with two three-pointers made connection. Only got great tough on shot angles right away. And this is what PG-13 does. He makes it helpful. He does it for his best. That's what you can't mess him up for the best player in the duos. Yeah, it's a tough way to make them same full. This is a great die for PG-13 win over the Atlanta. And that will wrap it up, folks, with me and Wood Spoonie, along with OJ, Boomer, and DJ Beast. This is a presentation for the second part of the game. If you like this one, please consider yourself to like the video. Comment down below if you have any game recommendation that you want me to do. Plus, subscribe to my channel. There's tons of stuff out there and you don't want to miss that one out. And hit the notification icon bell so you can stay up to date and it's the best way to support for this channel. You can also follow me on my social medias. I'm on X, Instagram, and TikTok. Link in my about page. But I'll be the next one to kick the determination on its own. And remember, as we will get right into this one, the next year's month will be the supercut of the Anime Insanity Invitational from episodes 11 to 15. So please stay tuned, as right now this will be the next year's one to have it all where we are caught up before. And as for me right now, I hope you have a fantastic night. And this is me, Beast. I'm out. Peace out, everybody, for a while as the NBA 2K24 dial. With me and Wood Spoonie, we are out. Have a wonderful night in the Hollister Hollywood of LA. And we'll see you all again for the next one. Bye, guys. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.